So this training video is going to show you how to load material onto the spindle roll. On your spindle there are actual instructions on how to apply the adapters to expand the roll as your roll media comes in both the 2 inch core or 3 inch core. The majority of your material comes on the 2 inch core but certain materials require that wider core. So you'll notice that on the end of these they're thin, that's for the 2 inch core. Your printer will come with these adapters. Depending on the printer you have, they're either going to be a dark gray for Epson or they're going to be a light blue for Canon. You'll notice that this is kind of like a elongated square here and elongated or rectangle here. And you're simply just going to place this in here, push it down until you hear it click. You'll also see from the back side that there are two tabs that are now got this locked into place. This will allow you to put your paper directly into the spindle core like so and it'll allow it so the paper doesn't spin or bounce around on the spindle core. Okay? And it is tight and it's designed to be that way. Okay? To release these, you simply go to the back side. While pushing these two blue tabs in, you push down at the same time. It'll allow you to then come and extract it from the other side by simply pulling it off. You can put these two blue adapters in the drawer of your kiosk or also in the little black basket at the bottom of the printer arm at the very base. Okay. Now how do you put the paper on the spindle? Your spindle will go into the printer this way. You'll notice that there's a right on there for an R and an L on this one. You want the paper to feed over the top. So you want to hold it to where your paper is focused this way. Come in from the end of the core here and slide it onto the end where the paper would feed over the top. You will then place your, uh, your end cap on here and it will go all the way into the core of the paper. Once it's settled all the way in, you will then lower your blue tab, locking it into place. This will keep the paper from spinning on the spindle here, and when you feed it into the machine, it will be in the correct position to roll up into the machine. 